good afternoon sir you just mentioned that left is the better alternative for india and uh, i i believe that people generally subscribe to things that they believe that is good for them okay so from a odd share of 6.5 percentage in the 1980s to 1.75 in the last election why the general public of india is pushing the left ideology if they are good if 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 left is as good as what you preach then why are they not subscribing to that ideology would you blame would you put the blame on the ideology itself or on the majority population of india and call themselves dumb or not selecting something good for them thank you yeah i think the fundamental mistake you are making is that the the popularity is measured in terms of elections right that is the mistake the left's influence also is in setting the agenda before the country and in setting the agenda before the country all mass movements that you've seen in the past 4 years have all been led by the left whether the kisan agitation or the trade union or anything so don't again i told you don't reduce politics to arithmetic so don't go to quote uh, you know numbers to me no i'm not quoting no 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 you say please 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 bear with me don't be so impatient the issue is that what is the agenda you are setting once the agenda is set people will do the change you and i are not required but setting that agenda is the job that the political parties and forces have to do and in that look at the last 4 years any protest actions or any movements in india have not happened without the presence or led by the left sir I totally accept the point we need a strong opposition for the better functioning of this democracy and if you are putting up such great uh, uh, policies or ideology then why is it not reflecting in the numbers like at the end of a year a student is measured in terms of their mark right so we need an analysis or we need something to determine how good it is so these numbers you can't deny these numbers so why i mean my question is out of compassion and concern like why is it not reflecting on the numbers at the end of the day we need numbers that is that is why it is not reflecting the very various other reasons as well why is it not reflecting today you look at the uh, the influence of money power in elections i mean can can anybody can anybody today ignore the fact that the party that is winning the elections is winning primarily because of the amount of power it has through control over monetary resources 80% or more of your electoral bonds are there electoral bonds are nothing but legalizing political corruption they legalize political corruption and 80% plus goes to the bjp and use that secondly we you even people also defeat the bjp they still form the government like in goa like in karnataka like in madhya pradesh they tried in maharashtra so what is elections for so if you are destroying your entire electoral democracy in this process there are various factors that go into how elections are held uh, i mean uh, elsewhere in the country you are you are that's, that's why i keep on saying you are lucky in kerala elsewhere in the country in election this time in rampur in the by election the muslims were not allowed to come to vote what do you call that democracy why are people not voting then why are the minorities we say we want the uh, what you call safety of the minorities samajwadi party there i mean you we were not the candidate samajwadi party saying that they fight for the safety of the minorities they protect the minorities why did they not win because you don't allow the minorities to vote and then you had the up chief minister when we were there together in himachal in the campaign together means at the same time uh, not together so <laughs> we were there at the same time and what was the speech he said he said in hindi he says in this dev bhumi himachal he called it dev bhumi because himalaya is he said in this dev bhumi how are you electing communists we in india our most important passion that drives us is our religion we may be hungry we may be unemployed but we will not tolerate any attack on our religion that understand that is why i spent a long time trying to uh, trying to impress upon you that false consciousness has to be destroyed